Welcome back to episode 18 of my vlog. I'm Connor. I'll be taking you through what I normally do in a training week, month, whatever it ends up being, the time I have to edit. Whilst well, got your attention, hit that like, subscribe button, whatever these people do on YouTube. And if you're feeling extra generous, get down that description, grab yourself some sweet training apparel with my brand on it. It is, well, I'm going to say it's incredibly comfortable because it is incredibly comfortable training. That being said, moving on to the final weeks of this prep that has been substandard at best for world's natural strongman, doing damage control, doing what I can, the time I've got. That being said, there's not much more on the way of progression I can do now. So it's going to be a case of just trying to peg that nervous system. So when I hopefully time it well, come comp day, I can extrapolate as much strength potential as possible. Then the interim, I'm going to start getting ready for statics at the end of October, which will open up a lot more freedom with my training. Probably go back to more of a powerlifting style structure. Uh, and just throwing in a few strongman moves, and maybe even given the time frame I have got, having a dedicated strongman Saturday with a powerlifting cycle or powerlifting block uh, during the week. So they're not cards tonight. It's going to do some more pressing. So going to be a strict log for reps. Probably moving to some bench, some tricep accessories, and maybe some back work, pending how long it all takes with the filming and the like. That's the plan. I'm going to get after it. Uh, yeah, we are. I think 19 days until comp, so it's getting exciting. I'm looking forward to it. So one thing I like to do when I'm not training for powerlifting specifically is when I bench, it's still a skill I want to maintain when I'm doing my strongman stuff. And instead of my comp grip bench press, I'll narrow it right up, get it nice and close, trying to get a bit more emphasis in the triceps, which in turn will hopefully have some carryover for my old pressing events. That's the theory anyway. So I proof fatigued them doing strict log. Now just doing some sets at 140. Might do one more set. And then I'll just do some tricep specific work. And maybe some heaps or something. And call it a night there. And get after it again either tomorrow or the day after. See how we go.
Definitely left today's session a little bit late. I was hoping that the good weather this morning was gonna hang around for the afternoon. As in, is not the case, it is starting to drizzle. I've already got things set up, so I get wet, I get wet. Did some half ass throwing. Wasn't super focused on getting it right, I just was trying to be quick. Some of them were quick, some of them were not, some of them were great, some of them were terrible. I think I just sell the fact that I'm not going to be one of these blokes who's going to be able to sit at the starting line where the bags are laid out and just yeet them from where they are. So I'm going to have to walk them back and do a couple of swings. To at least get the first two over and then the third one is uh, uncertainty. At least I've got the first two bags over the comp height. I should be able to get the 22. So that one is very much up to how the bag throwing goes in the day. No matter, move on to some farmers. Do them for a little bit and probably do some yoke as well. Keep it mobile. Think by now, with moving events in training, I'd remember to put knee sleeves on. Today I haven't put knee sleeves on, so my knees are aching. Self-inflicted, so I shouldn't have a winch, but I'm going to anyway. Moving fairly well with it, so I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful about a lot of things in this competition, if I'm being honest has not been the best prep by any means, so it's all about the experience. It's been fun. <laughs> not about Larry, and he doesn't really care about placing. Daddy. I'm sure, come comp day. Just not last, that's all I ask. <laughs> So in two weekends time, I'm going to be in Ireland. I'll be competing, doing my thing, having some fun, learning heaps. But in the interim, like today, I want to do some deadlifts. And for me personally, there's no point hitting maximum conventional deadlifts. If I had somebody to help me get in and out of the suit, I probably could do some suited stuff and still recover fine, but I don't. So that in that instance, I'm going to be doing some sumo deadlifts. I know they're not strong man, but you still get some really good benefits in regards to hamstring and glute development, which is the main reason why I'm doing it. And I haven't done them in a while, so I want to do something that's a fun for me sometimes. Just taking the piss out of that lift in particular. So I'm playing with that to every triple. Probably going and doing some moving stuff afterwards, whatever that takes the form of. Remembering to put my knee sleeves on this time so I don't absolutely wreck them, because that was average that afternoon after doing that. Uh, Farmers and yoke running. Definitely show my age there, even though I'm not that old. That's the plan for today so far. Hopefully, my small spawn don't uh, interrupt too much so it doesn't take an eternity. So with the sumos I'm doing this morning, or first up, doing them all for sets of three, because I find, for myself personally, three to five with my heavier weights, I can still recover quite well. So it's not gonna have a huge 
implication on follow-up training sessions and given at the moment I'm doing every second day I'm also giving myself a little bit more time to recover allowing me to push it a little bit heavier if I need to push it a bit heavier it's all well and good and then the other thing you might notice if you follow along not that everyone does but here we are I'm talking to a camera assuming people watch is I've got an underbelt on when typically I don't use underbelts for sumo deadlifts that's purely for the fact that I've got my lever belt set to fat boy settings because strongman lets you have the soft neoprene with a hard belt over the top and I'm not going to be changing it whilst I'm doing a strongman block Once I, if I go back to powerlifting I will but given everything for the next 10 plus weeks with training is going to be strongman orientated I'm just going to keep it belt belted, direction of warmth around the midsection helps a bit um, I do like the extra comfort I've been blessed with the finest mountain weather this place has to offer. It's raining, so instead of doing some moving, I busted out the chains. Gonna be having away at some squats. Feeling like doing a three to five sort of heavy rep range type thing. Not gonna bust out the knee wraps, just gonna go sleeves tonight, see what happens. Go from there after some squats. Gonna get in the log. Really loving log pressing at the moment, it's just feeling good. Even with the body a bit tired and battered. Not long to go now. Not quite the result I was after with the squats tonight, but it's safe to say whatever this sickness was that I've had for the last couple of weeks is truly kicking my anus. And that's putting it politely. So I ended up being 200 with 32 in chain. Definitely felt heavier. Got the instability effect that I was after. Really trying to work on the valgus knee as I come up out of the hole. I feel like that's, at the moment, my main energy leak for my squats. And if you look closely, I feel like the undulation through my hips as I'm settling as well. So that, to me, is a midsection issue. Granted, I don't train it enough. So, I've already decided that after this competition in Ireland, I'm retreating static monsters. And potentially, there's another deadlift comp at the very end of the year. That I'm looking at doing as an off season per se. Granted, for statics, it's got to focus on the deadlift and an overhead press with the log. And then for the, it's already insinuated that this deadlift only comp that you use deadlifts only. So that uh, shouldn't be too hard to train for and fit a degree of work in as an off season and start addressing these weaknesses. So when I come back to the competition season next year, I'll have a bit more of a complete package, stronger package, 
put up some bigger numbers. That's the plan. It's good to have a plan, but at the same time, life happens. As if you follow me or know me personally, being a father of four, working full time, trying to start a small business, all of this sort of stuff. It takes away portions and portions of your day. So it's a balancing act. Sometimes I'm really good at it. Other times I let the guys down. They know who they are and I apologize for that. Life's hectic. I'm trying to sway it in a way that I can focus on what I truly love, being this stuff. That's the end state. That's where I want to end up. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna be rude. Rain and all that sort of good jazz is stopping me from opening the roll door at the back. So I've had to move my pads forward on the platform a little bit to try and get the full frame, which means I've got my back to you guys. Again, I apologise. I'm trying not to be rude in that sense, but it's just what I have to do right now with the uh, current weather situation, which you might be able to hear from the mic. That brings to a close the 18th vlog that I have made. It might be the last one that I drop before going to Ireland, or I might do enough work to warrant putting one up before going. Likely that's pretty slim. So just expect this one to be the last drop pre-Ireland. Flying out next Tuesday, so in a week's time. And I'll be there for about eight or so days compete next weekend, throw my hat in the ring, see how I go. There's going to be some strong boys and as I've reiterated numerous times, I'm going there to learn, going there to get experience, like a full international competition. Yes, I did compete internationally last year but it was only two events and it's not that strenuous on the body per se. Whereas this is eight events across two days. There's been implements I haven't had access to, things I've tried to simulate, comp weights I haven't hit yet. So a good portion of it for me is theoretical speculation. Knowing if I'm fresh, I could do virtually all of it, but I'm not gonna be fresh. I'm genuinely curious to see how I go, as I probably won't have this opportunity again next year, purely for financial reasons. So if anyone out there is looking to sponsor a above average athlete, look at the sponsors, just saying. Other than that, if you've made this far, you're appreciated. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you haven't done so, smash that like button, the subscribe button. And if you don't want to do that, but want to support me, there's this link to some awesome merch down in the description. So pick yourself up a shirt or two. It's all appreciated. Cheers for tuning in, and uh, hopefully watch out for the next drop.